guys, let's do a little mail call. It's Monday morning. I ran over to the post office this morning and it looks like you guys have sent me a lot of stuff. I really appreciate it. Got a lot of packages here and a lot of looks like stickers more than likely to decorate this toolbox with. So thanks to everybody for sending us stuff here and uh, I really appreciate it. Let's check out what we got here. Brian Harrington is number one here. One of my longtime supporters over on Patreon. Looks like Brian sent us a whole pack of them here. That's awesome. This is some kind of vintage stuff right here. An old, looks like uh, 1988 Olympic Games right there. That's pretty interesting. Didn't expect to get something like that. A lot of aviation stuff right here. Pretty cool. Well, they're flying off. Huh. Aviation stickers flying off in the wind. That's pretty cool right there. Brian works in the aviation field and uh, this is neat right here. A bunch of old stickers right here. Some engine stickers and stuff. That's neat. Thanks, Brian. Next one is from Robert and Mary Pierce from Ohio. All right, it says, uh, we visit Texas and enjoy this sticker. Hope it makes it to your toolbox, the Pierces. We love watching all your videos. Don't mess with Texas. Check it out. That's a good one right there. Don't mess with Texas. All right, now we got one from Brad Whitehead. Looks like Oklahoma. Right. Looks like he's a welder. That's pretty interesting. Good deal. Brad Whitehead welding in Oklahoma. I'll tell you the notes are better than the stickers, to be honest with you reading those notes right there. That's that's the fun part for me. Next up we got, who is this? Lewis, Wind, uh, Lewis Clark from, it looks like New Jersey on there. Looks like he sent some, looks like little patches right here. Custom built goods, a good deal. I'm assuming he's probably a woodworker. Appreciate those. Check it out there, a little patch right there, Velcro on the back. SWW uh, from Florida, Cooper City, Florida. Love the videos from Ed. Let's see what Ed's into down there. Salvage Woodworks right there. I like your little uh, trademark right there. He's got a saw blade of two hammers. Those are pretty cool right there. He sent me a few of those. All right, got a large package here. It says Fragile from Black Desert Sauces, Westchester, Ohio. Horsteshire sauerkraut mustard. Looks like it's spicy. My wife will love that. She loves hot stuff. Got uh, Vida del Gallo. I'm assuming that's what that says. It looks like a marinade for chips and stuff. Cool. Got some black desert dry rub right there. I used to smoke a lot of uh, pork here at the mill. I've not done it in a long time. Black Desert Hot Sauce. Mm. My wife will love you there, buddy. She loves hot stuff. She'll be all about that. Hollow Woodworks up in uh, Kentucky. Not too far from here. I can be in Kentucky pretty fast, actually. About a little over an hour drive north of us. Here's a magnet for your to Oh, that's a nice one there. This is one of those little, uh, this is from Steve and Kevin Lyon. Hollow Woodworks up in Kentucky. Sawmill services, slabs. They looks like they run a wood miser. That's a really nice little, that's like a magnetic sticker right there. It's got the saw blade on it, the steel and the wood miser sign. That's pretty neat right there. I like to have some of those made actually. Good deal, we buy logs. <laughs> Anybody got any logs to sell in Green Up, Kentucky, look these guys up right here. Good deal. I've been watching your YouTube channel. You inspired us to start saw milling three years ago. We started with an Alaskan mill. We purchased a Norwood. Then in March, we went up to a wood miser. I'm paraphrasing here. They run an LX 150. Do a lot of large slabs. And it's now a profitable business. Well, that's awesome right there. Here's a picture of him and his son right there through LX. Check out that wood miser. That's a good sawmill right there. I saw those down in North Carolina a few months ago. Well, good deal, Steve. That's an awesome letter right there. And I'm glad you guys have been able to turn that into a little business for you. 
and I may be reaching out to you to see where I can get some of these made. I really like that. Good deal. Love the notes, guys. I love the notes as much as the stickers, actually. I love reading what you guys write us here. That is a really cool story right there. When somebody says they watch your channel and it inspires them to start doing the same thing you do and they're actually making money from it, that's awesome right there. You can't beat that. You cannot beat that. Right here we got Jack Ansley from Texas. Oh, he looks like he's got a, the Jack Speed Shop. A little sticker of a state flag right there, I'm assuming. Some Jeep stickers. All right, I'm assuming that's your shop there, bud. It says Jack's Speed Shop right there. Got a piston on there. Those are pretty neat right there. All right, so this is from Bill Starr up in uh, New York, it looks like. That's neat right there. State of New York Observer for the Forest Fire right there. That's neat right there. I love these old patches right here. This may be a new patch, but I like these old forest fire patches. Anything to do with the forest service. I love that stuff. Moving on. Got about three more here, guys, and we're done. This is from Trent in Oklahoma. Looks like Oklahoma and Texas are winning today with the states with the most mail. A little Oklahoma, kind of like a little patch right there. It might be a sticker. Don't have a name on it. All right, this is from Chris. It looks like he does some uh, videoing and some sawmill and stuff up in Southern PA. It's called a uh, Southern PA Sawmill. He's got a little sticker of a dog right here. A few of those, that's pretty neat. We love dogs here at the mill. Got Scott Eaton in uh, North Carolina. It's not too far away. Blows Creek Woodcraft. I may be pronouncing that wrong. B-E-L-E-W-S. If I pronounce that wrong, look over me. Uh, he, the, the letter tells me, B. Lose Creek. Blues Creek Woodcraft. Appreciate the pronunciation there. Uh, retired from 30 years in law enforcement. Thanks for your service there, bud. I know how tough that line of work is, trust me. Looks like he runs a Woodmiser LT-15. Well, good deal. Last, we have one from Nick here up in PA. Not sure what this is. Redemptive milling. I'm assuming this is a sawmill guy, my kind of guy right there. Nice sticker with a mill on it. Got the shirt, oh awesome. Extra large, you got the size right. So good deal. All right guys, thanks for sending everything. That's gonna do it on the mail for today. If you wanna send us any stickers or old axe heads or your banners or whatever, you know, just send it to us. There's an address down below to our PO box in these videos. You know, if you guys wanna send us that stuff, we'll show it here in the video. And old axe heads, if you got any old axe heads laid around, you don't want no more people, send them my way. We'll definitely hang them up. I really like that shirt. That's a pretty cool design right there. I may steal that design for a shirt. Let's get on the sawmill, guys. Thanks again for sending this stuff. Really appreciate it.